Hello. Camera on. Recording. How's this for nice weather? <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. Uh, yeah. We'll see. Make sure to try to clean the lens a little bit. You gotta think about that every now and then. So my god, I can't see. Uh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, it's cruising along and looking at the gray clouds and I was like, eh, it might get wet. Uh, I forgot the golden rule of mountains. You don't necessarily have to worry about what comes out of the clouds as much as you may have to worry about going into them yourself. Finally, after five months, my otter box thing, I forget who made it, so it's a RAM deal, um, comes in handy because that GPS unit's not waterproof. And this is a uh, one size fits all type deal. Um, it's got some pads in the back that you put in there to, to push it all the way up so that it contacts the uh, rubbery thing. But uh, yeah, so I'm cruising along and it starts climbing and climbing and climbing. I'm like, um, crap. So I just had to pull over and, and I already had my, my rain liner in. It's not really rain. But I put the liner in because it's cold and I didn't like being cold. And uh, I'd rather not get any more wet than necessary. So why not, right? There's an overlook for you. I wonder what the view looks like. It's gray. Um, but I, I had to pull over because I couldn't see anything because I'm wearing sunglasses and a tinted visor. And I should probably put the clear visor on, but I'm not going to unless it gets a lot worse. Because um, right now I'm skimming along underneath the clouds like right at the right at the base right close the vents up top got water dripping in um there's one of the biggest problems to riding in the mountains other than people in rvs taking up your lane is climbing into the base of the clouds and it has the same effect as riding into a fog bank because after all fog is a cloud that's at ground level you know, they're literally the exact same thing. Um, you're just, usually you look up to see a cloud, and so therefore if you don't look up, you know. So, uh, I thought it was kind of interesting. I, there, there was no pull-off, and I, I was like, you know what, screw it. <laughs> There's an intersection. One of the few roads that crosses and has its own little intersection. There's a whole bunch of them out here, you know, a bunch of little backwoods country roads. Uh, pull over just so I can change out my GPS thing and, and dig out my uh, clear safety glasses. Because I've conditioned myself to not be able to ride if I'm not wearing glasses of some kind. Um, and most hard bags have a strap that only allows the lid to open about 90 degrees so that you can open them on the side of the bike and you know they don't just flap open right well when you get to a hotel or say a cabin that is uh, basically a tent with an air conditioner um, you undo that strap so you can open it all the way it'll lay flat and it's easier to pack and deal with and all that uh, if you are smart you will remember to reclasp that little strap if you are uh, me you will not remember and then you, when you open it on the side of the road in the middle of a cloud um, half your shit falls into the road. And remember, I am wearing a cold weather liner, my, my quilted liner, my rain gear, my rain liner, because that's what actually blocks the wind. I'm already a little bit warm, and then I have to stop 
and pick up about a third of the stuff that was in my left hand hard bag. That was fun. What irritates me, kind of, is that, and, and some of them may have looked at it and gone, ah, he knows what he's doing, he's got it. Um, several bikers passed and no one stopped. Uh, there was, there were cars turning, I, I don't know, I think there might be a family reunion going on or something over there, because, like, trains of cars are turning, it's four, five, six cars in a row are turning to go down this podunk little road. Um, so something's up, but uh, one of them actually stopped right as I was getting ready to leave, just before I got back on the bike. Guy pulled off into the grass, and I, I couldn't really see him. I had my back turned to him, but I, I assumed that he was watching me because as soon as I threw a leg over the bike, I looked in the mirror, and he took off. So that was kind of nice, but it, it kind of let me down that all these motorcycles went by and nobody cared. Oh well, can't rely on anybody but yourself, right? That worked. Whoa, turn. Recording stopped. Goodbye.